हर किसी को Jason here from Nathaniel and let's learn har kisi ko this is basically on b flat major scale it has two flats namely b flat and e flat major and there are well not too many sections in the song but uh, there are a lot of well laid out sections so we'll go through them one by one and i'm sure if you're watching this video you all already heard the song a couple a few times so there's a nice intro there's a guitar intro and a piano intro um, i'll try and talk about that at the end of the lesson and there's also uh, a nice guitar tune a guitar solo which is played on the Elect uh, acoustic guitar first, and then the electric guitar in the end. So I thought I'll run that through as well. But before that, let's just look at the chords of the entire song, right? So let's look at the verse first. So the verse basically is on B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, and an occasional F sharp major. Okay, so. right so it's essentially hovering around those same chords but they they add some interesting chords here and there for example now uh, f sharp major is not part of the b flat major scale right so let's try out the verse 1 we'll perform it uh, there's navin here who'll also be singing so we'll perform it and then i'll break down the chords and try and tell you the chords as we go out chorus right so let's break that down <clears throat> so there's b flat na 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 da 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 that's e flat a flat and then b flat so the first line of verse 1 is essentially those chords b flat e flat a flat b flat then again it's almost the same instead of the a flat you do f sharp or g flat right so B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, B flat, E flat, F sharp, B flat, and lastly, na 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 A flat stop. So why I mark this A flat out is you have to stop before the chorus. You don't want to keep the same rhythm going. So before we perform it once more, what I'd like to do is just show you a general rhythm which you can apply for pretty much the entire song. Okay, and this is basically stealing from the guitar. So let's just see how it works. it's just follow my right hand and you can start with the one in your left hand okay let's do the verse very slowly 3 go E flat A flat B flat B flat again E flat F sharp B flat B flat na 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 A flat na 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 F sharp 
going to the chorus right so that's basically your entire verse section there's one more verse which is actually like a breakdown that's really easy we'll talk about that very shortly so let's look at the chorus again we'll perform it once so basically the chords are b flat a flat a flat minor which is very interesting and then you have a b flat major again so that's b flat a flat a flat minor and then b flat major okay so let's just do the chorus once normally and then we'll slow it down and uh, i'll call out the chords one two go har kisi ko So let's slow that down. One, two, sing. Har kisi B flat, A flat, A flat minor, B flat major, and we repeat that uh, twice. Now in the first chorus, there's something we do. after the chorus right which we call as the post chorus that happens only one time in the song so let's perform that for you guys and uh, when you repeat the second chorus and probably even the next chorus where he where he goes har kisi ko you don't really play this part post chorus as we call it as i've written down ever again so it's a it's a little bit tricky of a uh, set of uh, progressions but not a very tricky set of chords it's still the same chords which are reshuffled over okay so let's just do what i i've written down as the post chorus that's b flat e flat f sharp b flat and then b flat a flat a flat minor and b flat this is part of that same har kisi ko tune okay so there's just a small different tune here which we are going to do and then start khushna se E flat major, F sharp, B flat major, back to normal B flat, A flat major, A flat minor. Right, so ninety nine percent of the chorus is B flat, A flat, A flat minor, and B flat major. You can keep that same rhythm going. Tan tan ta da ta dan tan 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 ta ta ta. Pretty much for the whole song. However, if you guys find it tough to play, perhaps you can do something sim simpler like this. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So basically, in your right hand, you can play the chord four times, while in the left hand, you play the chord one time. Let's see how it sounds. Two. Na 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 na. Right, so if you're new to the instrument, at least I mean you're definitely going to survive the song, right? So let's now do the verse two, and the verse two—that's uh, the last vocal thing of the song. The rest are two small uh, instrumental bits. So in the verse two section, it's basically a little bit mellow. And once you finish the verse section, we go back to the pre. I've written here pre. It goes back to the pre. So let's just perform the verse for you guys once, and then I'll break down the chords as usual. Don't say 
right and it goes on right so right after that part is over we go back to the pre chorus which i've already taught you guys earlier right so let's break this down and before we just sing this a little slowly just make a note the first time uh, we do it we end with f sharp and a flat played quickly the second time we do it before we go to the pre we play a flat f minor and b flat stop that's what this x means okay however this tune remains the same b flat b flat e flat and b flat which goes na 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 okay, let's do that now with navin singing 1 2 3 प्यार ना हो तो जिंदगी क्या है प्यार ना ई फ्लैट माइनर जिंदगी बी फ्लैट मेजर नाउ f sharp a flat so that's like just a instrumental bit right i think the singing doesn't happen there right so na na let's do that line again na 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 f sharp a flat again b flat b flat e flat and the second part a flat f minor b flat stop and then back to normal okay so i think we've pretty much covered all the vocal bits now with the singing so if you have a problem with any section try to rewind and or not rewind just go to the earlier part and learn it from there and youtube also has a speed feature which you may know of okay um now coming to that catchy acoustic guitar part which then also is played on the electric guitar at the very end of the song you can call that like an interlude i guess so let me first play you the melody and you can learn it and then i'll show you what chords go along with it i've also written the chords for the interlude here and i've written the tune of the interlude here in pink color as i normally do okay so let's go Okay, that's the tune there. Line one. Right. Okay, and it ends with. That's the fourth time. So let's just do this once more. Okay, and since your right hand is doing that, or the melody is doing that, there are also chords which support this very well. So I'm just going to show you the bass notes of the chords first, and then maybe the full chords. So that's B flat for four counts. Actually, for the whole line, you just hold B flat. You can either play the root or the chord. So let's do that again. then f sharp e flat repeat and then you repeat pretty much the same chords except for the last one which becomes b flat okay so that's or if you if you are not playing the melody and if you are playing the chords you could just play the chords okay and then the song proceeds as per the structure so there's that which happens twice in the song and we end when you end that tune La da 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 da. Basically, you're ending the song with that tune, where which I've marked out as B flat major. 
there's also a nice piano tune which happens at the very beginning if you can catch that at the intro there's just an additional part if you want to play it's not that important in the song's uh, performance but there's a, it's a nice line so i'll just show you that at the very beginning after the guitar starts his strumming then the piano takes over by doing something like uh, where you start with b flat here Okay, that's line one. I've written that part down here. That's the second line. And the chords are na 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 na. So I've written down the chords there, which change quickly. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys have fun playing this song. It's a really cool song, and I think there are quite a few versions of it also on the internet. There's an older version as well, which you can learn from. Uh, this is just the newer version, which uh, or probably the more modern day, modern popular version. Right. All the best. Cheers.